Kathy. I know it's been a while since I visited you, but it appears that all of Battleworld has been flipped upside down. The elements have been running rampant, turning most of our domains into either a frozen wasteland or a dry, dry desert. The riots resulting from the climate crisis have completely resulted in infernos and fir forest fires. With a cloud of ash resulting from those fires, covering less than half of Battleworld, which I fear that this cloud of ash and smoke will reach Eggman Land in approximately three days. I made a promise to protect this world. I made a promise to be the leader that Battleworld needs. And I failed you. <laughs> You're doing good, you guys, but there's a squad of five, about five of Eggman's robots coming your way, and they have a tank and a gunner. Hey, it's nothing that Tails can't handle, right? Don't worry, I'm on my way, Mama Bird. Wait a minute, Mama Bird? Is that what your codename is? Look, it was either between that or Chef Boy RD. <laughs> yeah, good job there, little buddy. Now's not the time to celebrate. I'm detecting like th that Eggman's Titan, as well as another legion of Eggman's robots are coming out your direction. So I suppose you guys leave before more of them come. All right. What the? Are you kidding me? They escaped again? No, I. We are not kidding you, Mr. Tsuki. They have escaped. They can't keep on getting away like this. I could have sworn that we've had them. Well, I'm sorry, but we don't. Next time, I will get them, and I will not fail you again, Father. Alright, Lolpit, we're back on another successful mission. That's great. Yeah, for the past month now, like ever since the whole c climate crisis in Battle World, Eggman has been trying to keep his control over, over this, the domains that he still has left. Which is a good thing. He knows he's gonna lose. So he's doing everything in his power to keep control. And from all the intel that Cass has been collecting, it seems that the Barons are going to try and overthrow Dr. Eggman. Which is now the perfect time for us to strike Eggman's castle. The world's against him, his Barons are going to turn against him, which makes it the perfect time for us to strike. Yeah, but don't you think we should strategize first? Like, we all can't just attack him at the front. Which is why we have to strategize the distraction. You see, Eggman's going to be expecting Lob and Ninjago, but he's not going to expect the rest of us to attack him. Here's the plan. You guys distract Dr. Eggman, while me and Lobbit get inside Dr. Eggman's castle, find Void, and take, take Eggman's power for ourselves. What he means is, I will be the one to take his power. The rest of you are a distraction. Alright, but I don't think we should attack now. I say we prepare to fight against Eggman first. And then we instigate the plan. Look, haven't you known nothing about Eggman's barons and baronesses? Like, they're going to turn on Dr. Eggman when the time comes. And this is now the time. Now it's the time that we strike Eggman dead on. You know, Trunks has a point. Dr. Eggman has the powers of Taboo. And you and I had fought Taboo once. He, and Taboo is very powerful. I don't think we could be able to stop him if at, like, at our state of mind. Yeah, but 
Where's father? What's he doing over there? Oh, Vegeta? Well, Vegeta's just been sitting there. Yeah, he's just been sitting there meditating and he hasn't moved in hours. I wonder what's going on in his head. Hmm. Bulma. Trunks. Bra. I swear that I made a promise to you three. That once I take Eggman's life and his power for myself, I will bring you all back. I will bring everyone back. I promise. Alright, low class. As your leader, I say we attack Eggman now. Well, Vegeta, don't you think we should strategize first instead of, like, going to attack him head on? Listen, I've been waiting around here for a month for the, all of us to do something. And we have been doing nothing as the world around us has been crumbling around us. It's pretty simple that this world's not going to last much long. We have to attack Eggman. Now. Um... Vegeta, are you sure? Listen, Ninjako. I want my family back more than ever. And you want the world that you once knew back. You want Toyo, Tsuki, and Kathy back so badly. Eggman has given us the chance for us to attack him now. And once we take Eggman's power for ourselves, we are going to restore the multiverse that we once knew. We're going to restore my world, and all the other worlds that were destroyed or erased by Taboo and the incursions. We will bring them all back. It'll be as though Taboo had never even happened. We'll take down Eggman and bring everyone back. Promise me you'll bring my family back. Vegeta, I promise I will. I got a question, little bit. Say we help you bring back your world. What's going to happen to the rest of us after that plan is completed? Well, because you guys were created by Eggman, you guys won't exist. But, but we will bring the real yous back. Now, you guys go rally up the rest of the resistance. Because tomorrow, we head to Eggman's fortress. My barons and baronesses, you are among some of the last lo of my loyal subjects. Ever since these anomalies started appearing on Battleworld, they have just figuratively destroyed the foundations of Battleworld, bringing war, chaos, and anarchy with them. They have already turned multiple of our domains against us, and it won't be long before these anomalies arrived at Rope. Robotopolis. All these anomalies do have been destroying what I have built with their blasphemous ways and defacing our beautiful world, defacing nature and peace and order, and with their disease of anarchy and rebellion and chaos. I'm afraid they won't stop at nothing until Battleworld is completely devastated. Well, if you're so concerned about these anomalies, then why don't you just go and find them and eliminate them yourself? Yeah, the people have been taxed devastly so that you can build your little robot army. And don't forget that powerful robot that you got destroyed. You know how much taxpayer money that we had to put into that little project of yours? Yes, I know I may have underestimated the power of our enemy, but... I still believe we have hope that these anomalies will be vanquished from the face of Battle World and peace and order shall return to the world. But will that solve the climate crisis? Oh, uh, what climate crisis? The climate crisis that's happening right now. Most of Battle World has been turned into uninhabitable land. We can't be able to grow any crops or trade any resources with the destruction of Rainbow Road. People are starving, and there's always talks about more rebellions happening. Yeah, I was supposed to drain Battleworld of its resources first. And now my summer home has been frozen over. 
Like, are you fucking me right now, God? Hawkeye! Like you're fucking me. You're actively fucking me right now. So get off your fat ass and fix this shit. Um, um, Omni King, I don't, I don't mean to disturb you, but we have a letter right now, and by the side of the letter, it seems kind of th like a threat. Yeah, one of the th your robots like captured a man, and they t he told me to give you this letter. Letter. Hmm. Dear Egghead, we will be at your castle at dusk, so prepare yourself from you-know-who. Barons, Baronesses, gather your armies. Chu, you go gather my robots. We are going to war. <laughs> So wait a little bit, do you know that Kathy made this version of the Destiny's Bounty and you didn't tell us? Look, it was meant to be a birthday present for me. Just, just don't judge me, alright? So, is there any kind of features to this ship? No, not that I know of. Kathy hasn't really, like, told me everything about this because, like, she's dead. Like, I guess sure I could figure everything out. Ooh, what does this button do? Beep. <laughs> Lobbit, what did you do? Da! Gotcha! Um, Lobbit, we're literally falling out of the sky right now. <sighs> oh, damn, you're right. Um, how exactly do I stop this? Hmm. How about I press the same button that I did the last time? Beep. <laughs> beep. 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 Yeah, wait. Lopet, how exactly did you... I don't know, I just pressed the same button I did the last time, and... All of a sudden, the engines start going back online. Right. Wait a minute. How come when me and Cass, like... Like, we were, like, falling downwards? How come you stood exactly the same place? Um, Bingo was his name Oh. Beep, beep, beep. <sighs> Lopet, you damn idiot, you could have nearly killed us all. Jeez, I'm sorry, Lloyd. No hard feelings, right? <sighs> Alright, we have them right in our sight. Baron Goodman, is, is the Ron Ron robot ready? Oh no, let me check. I'm idiot! Is your little mech ready? Uh, yes. Yes, Baron Goodman, it is. Well, then do something about that. Um, I don't really have any catchphrases, but I'm just going to just do this. <laughs> what was that? Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> Lope, what did you do? Uh, Lopin, what did you do? I didn't do shit, like the engine just blew off. Guys, can you just stop arguing? Look, I see some people over there. Wait, you do? Huh? I do. Like, hopefully there's like a feature on the ship that could probably like save us. Alright, how about, th um, uh, th ooh, there's a red button that says do not touch. Okay, beep. Wait, did you just say do, do not touch? Whoa! <laughs> Okay, what the f- Whoa. Huh? Huh? Whoa. Huh. I got handed to you. Thanks, Kathy. Or maybe I should say thank, thanks a little bit. Wow. Kathy, I don't know if you're hearing me right now, but that's a pretty dope birthday gift. Oh, screw this. I'm not, I'm not staying. Hey, where do you think you're going? Look, I'm a hitman. I do not, I'm not going to fight that. 
Um, well, Ron, Ron, will you fight it? Um, maybe. All right, then. Twist his dick. Right on, boss. Come on, Lloyd. Kick that mech's ass. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, hey, stop it. Step it. Step shooting at me. Step it. Um, crap. Ah, crap. Duh. Uh, screw this, I'm out of here. Ye oh, this mech is incredible. It looks like it didn't even get a scratch on it. This could definitely be useful in taking on Eggman. Yeah, but who is responsible for this attack, anyways? Like, it can't just be that guy. Well, I think I might know. Let go of me! I would rather die than give any of you little traitors money! We're not here for that. We just want to ask some questions, Baron Goodman. Ah, one of Aikman's barons. So, I suppose that the God Emperor got our message, right? You think I was honestly just going to have the God Emperor wait while you people try, cut, like w come here and and overthrow him? The thing I love second to money is the God Emperor. Does your God Emperor have any counterattacks? Perhaps like any like... Do you, does your God Emperor have like flaws or... The God Emperor is without flaws. Uh, I'm not giving in to you people. And what do you mean people? Mm. Poor people. Oh wow. Take him back to the Resistance HQ and throw him in the cell to rot. Jail cell? You poor! Why is it poor? Because there's not even any bedding in there. You're such a spoiled brat, you know. Alright, Lloyd, can you take the three of us onto your mech so we can head back to the base? Um, sure, a little, little bit. Alright, good, Lloyd. Another one of my Barons has been captured. I'm not gonna be mad about it. Baron Goodman went against my orders. He deserves what he got. Hey guys, what are Goku and Vegeta doing over there? I don't know, I think they're fighting. Fighting? I want a piece of that. No. But are you sure they have to train right here? Where our troops are? Yeah, we suffered a small loss back at the last battle. And boy was Baron Kang a very difficult opponent to fight. <laughs> Dead. Dead. How long are you going to think this is going to continue on for? I don't know, maybe there's going to be a beam yeah, struggle or something? Yeah. I stand corrected, we should probably go now. Hey guys, what if I just fired at that beam struggle and see what happens? Well, bet, don't. Whoa, pretty explosion. <laughs> what the hell was that? <sighs> Did Lol Beth fire that out beam struggle again? You guys should definitely watch your surroundings more. <laughs> 
Especially for the big giant battle that's going to be today. She's right, Vegeta. We have a battle ahead of us. To defeat Eggman and restore the world that we once knew. Restore our Earth, restore our families. Taboo wasn't an easy opponent to defeat. And so would Eggman. Once we get to Eggman's fort, there's no return. There won't be no turning back and no retreat. We either fight or we die. Goku's right, Vegeta. We've heard news that with this climate crisis, the world's going to fall apart. And that is a good thing. That means that Eggman's world is going to fall apart. It wasn't meant to last for long. Just as I predicted. But if we don't get Eggman's power and bring back the original multiverse, bring back everyone that we've ever known, and restore our worlds, then we won't get any other chance to. This is the perfect opportunity for us to get go to Eggman's castle and strike. I know for a fact that this fight isn't going to be easy, but we only got one shot at this, and we will bring everyone back. Eggman, our robots have detected a huge explosion down south, as well as a fleet of the rebels coming up north. Should we do something like attack them, or leave the rebel convoy be? It seems that they are quite resilient as I originally thought of them. All of our defenses that we threw at them, they keep on de demolishing them. They are quite the resilient ones, aren't they? Well, why don't you go out there and deal with them? You know, it, seem, it would seem kind of unfair of me if I just simply just went over there and crushed them all with, the, with just the snap of my fingers. It would be much more wiser of me. But, my lord, these are the same rebels that have overthrown numerous barons. And these rebels, th these anomalies, have also been the ones that have been responsible for your assistant's death. Though it's been quite a long time since I ever sorted a worthy opponent. I wish to give those anomalies a fair fight. With the power that I possess, they won't be able to succeed in overthrowing me. But either way, the world's going to end. Will you be doing anything about that? I will do something about this world to fix it. Once I deal with those anomalies first. Will do, my lord. They're here. Alright, everybody. Now, hear me. The war for Battle World is finally here. And remember exactly what we're all fighting for. We're not fighting to defeat Eggman, but we're fighting to for our very existence. We are fighting to bring back the old world and bring back all of our fallen friends, family, and all the countless innocents that died by Taboo's hand. There'll be no room for any errors. And if we fail, we fail. There's no turning back. We are now in the fight of our lives. We got one shot at this, everyone. And we better make it count. Now, charge! Yeah! Yeah! Attack! Attack! Hmm. Baron Bat, you finally decide to show your face after all these months. It's over, Eggman. We know everything about your little powers that you have. So why exactly did you decide to turn your back on me? I turned my back on you long ago after you've killed my father. I made up for that. I gave you power. 
the ability to rule over anyone you please. So, you thought that was going to prevent a rebellion? No. So you came here to challenge me. The leader of the rebellion here to challenge me. Ha, <laughs> that's highly laughable. Huh? <laughs> Thanks for the distraction, Damien. Hopefully my little sneak attack will probably did the trick. If you mean by did the trick, you mean by piss him off, then yes. You think that, you, that both of you have the power to face me yourselves? Psh, how weak. Look at- Duh! Yeah. How pathetic. Damn it. Way to go for our little sneak attack. Hey, don't blame me. You didn't distract him slow enough. Yes, and now we're alone with those guys. How about this? I take the dozen on the left, you take the dozen on the right. Screw that, I'll take a baker's dozen of them. <laughs> I like your word. Hey, you! I remember you! You made me look stupid out there! Hey, Dee Dee, long time no see! Listen, sorry for leaving you back there, but I was quite busy at that moment. Oh, so you got something on your face there. <laughs> Didn't want to hurt you back then, but now, since we're in an all-out war, it basically doesn't leave me with any choice now. <laughs> you guys want a piece of me? Come here, take some! <laughs> You all right there, Vegeta? Yes, I would be even more better if this face mask wasn't covering my face. I honestly do not get how you guys even breathe in these things. Oh, come on. The, the, the ninja masks are quite stylish, don't you think? Yes, and they're so overrated. Oh, come on. They're not that bad. Lloyd, there's a reason I don't wear a ninja mask. Like, I run a lot. And running, like, it's very ex- it, it'll get very exhausting, eh. Especially if you exercise super much. And exercising very much makes you breathe more, and wearing a, something covering your mask is basically just, like, slowly suffocating you. You know, Vegeta and Lulbin really have a point. Like, there isn't really any use for these ninja masks anyways. Yeah, like, why do you guys even wear ninja masks in the first place? Like, you aren't trying to conceal your identities. Like, everybody knows who you are. Yes, and you guys... And you guys technically don't really have any love interests that you want to protect and all. <laughs> Seeing that basically everybody that you guys know is basically dead. So what's even the point of wearing a ninja mask now, since everybody basically knows who you are? Yeah! <laughs> Come on, like, we're ninjas. Ninjas always wear masks. I hate to break it to you, Lloyd, but the age of the ninja is over. What a buzzkill, all bet. You know, Ching, he, she kind of has a point, you know. Well, sh shut up, X. In my world, you're a ninja too. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, you. Oh, it's nothing. Like you said that I, that me from your world is also a ninja, which made me almost laugh for a second because I thought that to myself. You know, maybe my alternate self is less of a like. Less of a, like a, less of a hero and more of a comedian in your world. 
Shut up! <laughs> Guys, this is no time for fighting. We're literally in a war zone right now. So yeah, that's right, Lloyd. You need to start growing up and start being a man. Well, if you say so, I guess. <laughs> Guys, usually in battles, there isn't this much talking. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's what being part of Team Fazbear's is like. I gotcha. Destructo Disc! <laughs> Jealous much, Zuna? No! Shing! Still quite confused on how I went from freeing a village from a curse placed on them by a bunch of gods, to fighting in a war, to restore the original multiverse. Che! It's me, Che! Um, Lord Lawside, it doesn't seem that the battle's going in our favor. Hmm. And how could that be the sod? Well, sire, our, our parademons, they se they're seeming to fall, but... Th but they seem to be joining the other side. What do you mean by joining the other side? <laughs> I see now. The sod, send Granny Goodness and Steppenwolf to take care of the infected. Right on it, sir. <laughs> now then, Parademons, to battle! <sighs> you know what, Tulopit, I never actually thought I'd be fighting side by side with you in this final battle. Same. So after all this time, you're finally admitting that I am superior to you. I am still the superior little bit from a long shot. Like a mortal like you deserves any of my respect. Eh, eh, eh. Aren't you the cute little monkey? Eh, eh, eh. Hey, hey, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? Hey, that's, that's, this mech is brand new! You've claimed to have fought and defeated several gods. What makes, and yet you cannot beat a single little monkey. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> hey, hey, what are you doing? Hey, this mech is brand new, you know. Off! <laughs> hey, I take offense to that. This mech is quite elegant. So, other me, you were saying? Just shut up and continue fighting. We only need one arm to actually do this. Yeah! Ta! Ha! Am I always like this? Yeah, I think I was always like this. Ta! These forces of Eggman are quite pathetic, don't you think? I'm surprised you're the one to talk. Yeah! Ta! Ta! Yeah, right. I feel like I'm finally back. Just stay in there, Damien. You're gonna be alright. Like, does anybody have a Sanzu bean? D huh? Dad? Uh. Huh? D My son! Tick, tick. 
Big Bang Attack! Right, Azuna? Yes, I'm fine. Go and check on your friend to make sure she's alright. Alright. Egg Titan, I call upon you to destroy the re this rebellion. Um, you guys feel that? <sighs> Don't think I've forgotten about you, Egg Titan. You shall fall by the hands of this Mac. Ah, damn it. Could use a little help here. Well, yeah, Trunks needs their help. Come on, other me, let's go. What? Are you seriously just going to risk your life for a pathetic little mortal? We're the same person, remember? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Alright, one arm left on the mech or not. We're still going to defeat this guy. <laughs> Tra what the? God damn it! He just destroyed my mech that easily? Yeah, now both of our mechs are busted. We need to help him. Like, if we don't do something, then he's going to die. How? How are we going to help him? Look at that thing. Like, we're both powerless. That thing is extremely powerful if it was able to destroy our mechs just that easily. Don't need to worry. I'll take care of him. What? Cole? The Earth Ninja? It's, is that really him? Well, bother me. I guess we're going to have to continue this war on foot. I guess you were correct about that. Hey, Rockhead! Huh? Greetings, old friends. What? Cole? Is that really him? Yes, indeed. I'll hold the Egg Titan off. You guys take care of the rest of Eggman's cronies. Alright, you do that. <laughs> hmm. It's good to have you back, brother. I'll stand by just in case you need any help. <laughs> so you have been the one who's been causing us all this trouble. <laughs> and just who do you think you are? I am Stefan Wolf, one of Lulside's leading commanders of his paramentals. 
Your little paramentals killed one of my f allies. Someone that I cared for as a son. And you will pay for it. Yeah, big bang attack. I don't want to resort to this, but you leave me no choice. This guy is tough. Tough what the? You puny little creature. You are weak compared to me. It's not like you're even trying. Huh? You said I'm not even trying, huh? It seems that you're the one who's not even trying. I, however, am just getting started. <laughs> These minions of the God Emperor sure do seem quite weak. Give me a real challenge, will ya? Ta da da. What was? Huh? Da da. Damn. Ta. Ta. Oh, little alien. I see that you haven't met my female fury. Now, female furies, destroy this alien. <laughs> Under the orders of Granny Goodness, it's best that you that you yield in the name of Lawside. I yield to no one. Huh? Haha, <laughs> this quite rules. I better give Tiana a big thank you when this is over. What the? You were able to defeat my furies like that? I've overseen the training of all my furies. So it's quite surprised how a person like you is able to defeat them. Hmm. Are you surrendering? As one of Lawside's leading commanders, I refuse to accept defeat. But I have to admit, that power of yours is quite intriguing. What even is that power anyway? This, this power is the power of a Super Saiyan God. Super Saiyan God. Perhaps your head would make a fine trophy for Baron Lawside's fireplace. If I knew as well will get me to your Baron, I accept your little challenge. Well, this granny is no kind to your hearted woman.
<laughs> well then, Super Saiyan God. You're quite a fool thinking you can challenge one of the new gods. Tch. Huh? What the? Huh? How impossible. You stay where you are. I'll go and have a meeting with your little Baron. <laughs> you alright, Lloyd? Yes, Cole, I'm fine. That guy's tough. Yes, but the Titan's chest has a crack in it. Alright, so that must be his weakness. So what he's saying is I should go out and take care of that, right? No, you won't be strong enough to break that crack. Only a master of Earth could probably break that crack. So, Cole, what are you saying? I'm saying, promise that you'll fix this. Farewell, Lloyd. What, Cole? Cole. Alright, that should be all of them, right? Yeah, it's quite strange that that's the only Baron that we ever saw, like... Shouldn't there be more barons? I saw all the barons all in the battlefield, but now there's none. Hmm. I wonder where they could have gone. Uh, I gotta get out of here, eh? Um, I'll bet. Um, are those the other barons? Mm, why? Don't think I'll give you any of my chocolate. But this is all mine. Like, this one's King K. Rule. This one's Daisy. This one's Lucina. Well, I, I just ate Springtrap and, um, that King Pig earlier. Now, if you excuse me, I want to eat my chocolate in peace. Um, well... Um, don't think I'll give you any. This is my cookies and cream chocolate, and I get it. You can't have any. <laughs> well, I, I was going to ask you if I can have one, but lear learning that you're able to turn all the barons into chocolate, then, um, yeah, I, I don't want any. Thanks. Thanks, anyway. <laughs> Now then, v Vegeta, perhaps I shall present your head to Lord Lawside. He should be satisfied with what I have been able to acquire from the battlefield. <laughs> I expected more from a, a new god like you, but you don't understand the content of my will in order to and destroying the God Emperor. And I will stop at nothing until my goal is achieved. <laughs> Serves you right. Now, Eggman, come out <laughs> uh, What the hell? Huh? <laughs> Perhaps let me ask you this question, enemy of Eggman. What really are you in your little resistance? Perhaps escaped anomalies from the hedge, or enemies of Eggman exiled to the hedge that somehow managed to escape. Either way, youth are th a threat to our reality. Oh, your reality? This whole reality isn't even real. Perhaps you might know the average lifespan of a folk from the battle world. You live about your life until you can no longer be controlled by Eggman and he throws you out over the head for you to be consumed by the monsters. Yes, I know exactly the purpose you serve to the God Emperor and that is to 
continue blabbering on his lies and propaganda as always. You think you actually serve any meaningful purpose in, in Eggman's world? You're only just a pawn in his little game. But if you want to know who I am, I am Vegeta, survivor of the original multiverse. And my duty is to restore everybody who was erased in the incursions and seek vengeance on the God Emperor for taking everything from me. The vengeance of the lives of the original multiverse and those who are taken by Eggman flow through me. And I will stop at nothing to, in order to wipe you all off the face of existence. Cass! Cass, are you okay? Uh, I am now handsome. Huh? Well, I just want to make sure you're okay, Cass. That's that's all. Hey, Lloyd, what are you doing? Uh, uh nothing, nothing. Yeah, Lobby, we we were doing nothing. Yeah, yeah, Lobby, we were doing nothing. Wait, are are you two um dating? What dating? No, 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 uh, no, law, But we we aren't dating or anything. <laughs> I don't know how you could th like probably think that. <laughs> hey, I'm not holding against anything against you two. All right? We we you aren't? Of course not. Like you two probably look great together. Like you're like very talkative. She isn't very talkative. Oh, but can you please shut up? All right, all right, guy. I'll I'll stop. I'll stop embarrassing you. Like, it, I, Lloyd, you don't have to be embarrassed about having a, a girlfriend. Finally, now let's, let's go on fighting Eggman's goons. Well, to think about, Lloyd, I I think we kissed at the wrong time. It's like we should, we have more important things to take care of. But Cass, I guess you're right, Cass. We got more important things to take care of, like Eggman's goons. <laughs> you know, you're pretty tough, I'd say. Same goes for you. <laughs> Alright, time to take things up a notch. Vegeta, wait! <laughs> okay, what the hell was that, Kakarot? Explain yourself! Remember what Lobit said? We need to preserve our key for when we fight Eggman, remember? And the reason I should care is... Look, if we need to distract Eggman as long as possible, we need to keep our, preserve our key because we don't have any senzus, no, no one who can heal us. I'm certain that you've forgotten about someone. But that's besides the point. Lolbit has a plan, and our plan is to hold off Eggman for as long as possible. Everyone has a part to play, except for me. Like, Lolbet is very powerful herself. And, but what about this that I keep hearing about you and Lol Lloyd's little Seraphim form? Hmm, Seraphim? Hmm, doesn't seem like something that can probably make me budge. <sighs> Look, Lloyd told me everything about angelic form. If his grandfather, the first Benjutsu Master, used it, it could probably easily defeat the Overlord. I mean, easily defeat the Overlord? I remember a little bit, and Lloyd telling me that it was very difficult being the, the Overlord back then. But knowing a form that could easily one-shot him? Hmm. Hmm. I'm quite curious now. Well, listen, I have another solution on how we can beat Lawside without having to use up all of our key. Here, let me whisper it. What? Okay, there is no way I'm ever fusing with you ever again. I t told you. Look, it's the best way we could probably preserve our key. So if we did fusion against the Lawside or something. Shout about this. How about we compete for, for it? Let's do a little bit of rock, paper, scissors. If I win, then we get to do fusion. If you win, then you could do whatever the heck you want. All right, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Um, is that? Oh wait a minute! I just realized something. Like, like we can't be, even do that. Like, look at our hands. Like, unless you just want to do paper, paper, paper. Like that just sounds pretty odd. 
Let's just pretend. Rock, paper, scissors. All right, pretend. Rock, paper, shoot. Haha, <laughs> I got you with paper. What the? No. How is that even fair? I did rock. Rock is the most easiest one to that you could be able to destroy anything else. Like, listen, Kakarot, I don't get it. Like, how come you can't put rock over paper? Because, si because rock always beats scissors. Scissors beat paper, and so paper beats rock. Well, that's, that doesn't seem even possible. Come on, we're doing fusion whether you like it or not. Duh. Where did those two go? Huh? Fusion? Ha! Um. Ta! What the? What's going on? Why can't we fuse? Yeah, I don't know what's going on, Vegeta. I don't know why we can't fuse, huh? <laughs> what's the matter? It seems that your little trick isn't going to work on me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Goku, Vegeta, you guys fuse now. I'll keep him busy. Alright, come on, Vegeta, we have no time to lose. F fu Shen ha Stupid rat. I'm a hedgehog, you idiot. What is the meaning of this? I am neither Goku nor Vegeta. I am Gogeta. So the two of you Saiyans actually know fusion. Like, that's how we're going to save you against both me and the God Emperor. Like, that's even our plan to begin with. <laughs> now you're going down, lol sides. <laughs> yeah? Ha ha ha. Uh oh. <laughs> hmm. Huh? You don't know the mess that you've gotten yourself into, Saiyans. I know exactly the mess I've gotten through. I'm fighting to fix everything. I'm coming for you now, Eggman. Not on my watch. Tear! Tear! Even though I don't have my powers, I'm still a good combatant. Tear! You don't have to tell me twice. Tear! I'm literally you. Tear! <laughs> Man, these paramentals just don't know when to quit, do they? Yeah, tell me about it. Give me a break. Tear! Yeah, tell me about it. I could use a little help here. Eh. <laughs> there you go, X. I saved you. Ah, uh, thanks, Lloyd. Man, these guys are starting to tire us out, don't they? Are they? <laughs> you two are foolish to face against a god. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Kayo. Come on, my fellow friends. We must continue fighting. Yeah. Man, these bastards just don't know where to quit now, do they? Yeah. Sonic! Ha! Tails! Yeah. If... Uh, you're right there. 
Um, yep, I sure am fine. Hmm? Deh. Wow, these guys have completely surrounded us. Girl, if only I had my speed back, then that way I could be able to take these guys out quickly. If only a miracle happened. Wait, I'm sensing an energy signature, but... It's... It feels so familiar. Huh? <laughs> Wait, is that is is that Frieza or Tip Gollum? <laughs> and greetings to you all, monkeys. Yep, that's the bar of Frieza, all right. The racist part. <laughs> cha, cha, dow, Cass, are you all right? Yep, I'm fine, Lloyd. Hey, freeze on! Watch where you're shooting your little death beams! You could have almost hit somebody! Like that even matters anyway! You little ninja! I'm here for Dr. Eggman! Hey, Ivo! You too! Yet this is I, the mighty freeze The person that's going to beat you and become god of this world! What you going to do about it? Cry. Orbot, activate my world domination playlist. Alright, will do, sir. Everybody, run for your lives! What the? No! Our army! Haka! Get down, both of you! Of the Omni King! You have arrived! Wait, what are you doing? What? Nah! What the? He just hakai his own Baron! How could you, Eggman? I thought he was completely loyal to you! That is why I plan on cleaning the slate again. And making a new battle world with new barons and baronesses and new mortals that worship me. Whoa! <laughs> well, I got my speed back! But it's only temporary. I've only, I used my magic to give you back your powers only temporarily. Now you two go, go into that castle and find the so find Eggman's, the source of Eggman's power, or else you're gonna have to witness me betray you guys again. Wait, what? D it doesn't matter now to me, we have to go inside the castle now. <laughs> right. Oh god, Emperor Eggman, you're all mine. D Eggman. D but I got on my fight here with, with Flawside here. I got it. Stardust Breaker! Huh? What's going on? What's happening to me? Aw oh, man, where did all that sweet power go? Well, I'm out of here. See you guys. Huh, that actually was a variant of all bit. Wow, it took you monkeys long enough. I swear to God, Frieza, or Frizolum, if you dare betray us again, I am going to end you. And now, Eggman, it's you and me. Hmm, perhaps you might have a little vendetta against me. You destroyed my entire planet and my family. How am I supposed to keep track on the people that I killed? I'm literally a god. I do not discriminate. Well, today... Is the day you finally pay for your actions. Holt. We'll take care of him. You go to aid what's left of our army against Eggman's forces. Me, Vegeta, and Free Zolom will deal with him. And remember, we're not here to defeat him. We're just stalling. Right. 
<laughs> Ready? Go! Why you little That sure feels great to be back. Alright, come on out to me, the Tata Eggman's castle, and then deactivate his powers. Don't tell me what to do, Freeler. Hey, other me! I need some help here! Oh. Come on, take my hand! Without thinking about it, why exactly should I? Huh? Say, if I were to, like, save you, and you bring everyone back, reverse everything so that the, so that the blue never happened and the whole universe is never destroyed, that would also mean that you are to end up being back exactly where I was before the I am the Superior Ball Man, and I will not allow myself to be a prisoner yet again, as I will rebuild the world how I see things out
doesn't know about that little transformation. I will be the one who will throw the gun and become the one true army king of this world. <laughs> Kamehameha! Final Flash! Please don't tell me that I actually did the trick. If you mean by did the trick, you mean by piss him off, then yes. Why you little dare. Guys, we need to get out of here. Why can't I move? Yeah, so he's getting here very fastly. I doubt Ultra Instinct could probably be fast enough to be able to react to this. <laughs> Tuh? Hmm. So, the unkillable monster meets the unbeatable god. I am more than just a monster to you, Eggman. <laughs> ah! A monster that's going to set things right. <laughs> Wow, Lil Banks is really fi fighting Eggman in a very intense battle. They're fighting alright, but it seems that they're not even moving though. Which gives me the perfect chance to chop Eggman's dumb, bald, big nose hair head off. It's like you're not even trying, Vegeta. I'm trying with every might in my body. Well, you gotta try harder. Damn, Eggman is quite powerful. He was able to dodge my true ultra instinct. Yeah, even Taboo gave us a run for his money. Yeah, but that gives us an opening right now. Okay, he's exactly just like Taboo. Uh. I faced off against everything you threw at me. This is the moment that I get to kill you. Oh, you believe that you're going to kill me? <laughs> What's so funny? You honestly believe that this mega weapon would actually take do the job of taking me out. <laughs> well, as you can see, Saiyan, I could easily kill you right here, right now. But I'm feeling kind of generous, as you all deserve a quite a good fight before I end you all. You keep on telling yourself that, Baldi. Oh, please. I have the powers of infinity 
and taboo on my side. The most powerful beings in the multiverse. When I gained that power, I saw everything. All the power running through my veins. It drove me mad. With this power, instead of recreating every single world that was destroyed by Taboo, I sought the opportunity to have everything that I've ever wanted for so long. For decades, my evil schemes of world domination were always, always foiled by some blasted hedgehog. Oh my god, he's literally brewing about his past. Alright, we get it. Just cut the cheese and get down to the cheddar, won't ya? You see, when I gained these powers, I saw an opportunity. You see, in order to create my new world, I took pieces from your old world and many other realities and forged them into Battle World. A little temporary side project, as I would call it. As a means of assuring that I am the only god in the multiverse, I took care of the Omni Kings and the Grand Priest. They weren't really that much good of a f And then took care of every single god in the Omniverse. And when I brought back everyone that was killed by Taboo, they still ret some of them still retained memories of their past life. So I either brainwashed them, or I decided to keep their memories intact, as I saw use in them. That explains Knuck how Knuckles was brainwashed and Toyo and Tsuki and also, that also explains why Broly remembers Vegeta. Yes, I told the ones who survived that you all died in the incursions. Okay, so you brought back Lobbit's kids, you brought back Mario and Luigi, Knuckles, all of those guys. Why exactly did you not bring back my family? See, that's the point. I erased your family. Oh, what? They were not wiped out by the incursions. I was the one who killed them. During my... When I was picking realities to forge into Battle World, I looked... I found your little Earth your home planet. I saw your you and Goku's planet Earth a bit unnecessary for my battle world. So you, it was you who was the one that erased my Earth. Chi Chi, my sons, all of that was me. You, you were the one that erased my family. You monster! No. Monsters don't do that. Only gods do such a thing. God wipe out the weak so that only the strongest shall thrive. I saw that as mercy. Wiping out our families, our friends. You call that mercy? It seems we were all right about you. That power corrupted you. And you shall no longer have it. <sighs> Do you honestly believe how much I sacrificed for this power? <laughs> Kakarot! <laughs> so what, Saiyan? You are going to break your limit again? My power has no limits. With the combined powers of Taboo and Divinity, I am literally God here. And you wouldn't think i know that you guys would return. That is why I've made it so that you'd all be brought here before me. See, once you all exited that pocket dimension, I was going to find you all and wipe you all out. But... Seeing as I never had a challenge in quite a while, neither did I suspect that my own assistant would betray me as a means of you guys to escape. So that is why I let you all escape. So you all would grow stronger and give me a real challenge. As it's been quite lonely for a decade. 
I sort of missed you all. But soon, once I'm done with you, I will wipe the slate clean and do all with it. A world where you all don't exist. And only then will my life's mission be complete. So I suppose it's in all your best interest that you surrender now, and I'll give you guys a quick and painless death. Yeah, like that's not going to happen. I don't know if we're gonna have to resort to using this form, but I guess we're going to have to, Goku. I don't know much about this new form of yours, but I'm sure that I can get the hang of it. Move aside, monkey. I can handle this. <sighs> ah, tip golem, or should I say, freeze golem. Had I known that you were still alive, I could have given you a domain and you would have ruled as one of my barons. Oh, you know I don't want to be a baron. I want something more. Like I'm ever going to give you my power. Did I say you would give me your power? <laughs> like that's ever going to happen. I know about your little battery named Void. I know exactly what the purpose of that pink puffball Kirby. He's your battery, the source of your power. And hopefully I could be able to convince him in order to have your power all to myself. What the? But Wait. How'd you know about the parts you weren't there for? Uh, does anybody feel that? Sonic, I tasted that. Hmm. There's power. Tip Gollum's power is rising. Hmm. Quite intriguing, don't you think, everyone? <laughs> All better. What the? What is that? I'm glad you're quite interested in our new form, Eggman. You see, in the time chamber, we know that I couldn't get Tip Gollum onto my level, so we decided to train our little fusion. And we came up with this form in just four years in the time chamber. What the? Freeze Gollum was able to unlock that form in just two years? Imagine if Freeze Gollum actually trained for ten years. So if I can't get you or Void to be able to give away your power to me, then I'll just take that power from you and Void with my cold, bare hand. Hmm, fascinating. What the? What's going on? How come he's beating me? Void! What's going on? Ta? Ta? You know, the first Baldi I used this attack got squealed louder than you. Da! Da! <laughs> now then, who's the superior doctor now? Hmm. Puny god. Perhaps you're not worthy of that power as you so proclaim. Guys, we need to go and help him. Why? Aren't we here to kill him? No. I fear if Tip Gollum finishes him off, then this entire world is going to erase. Eggman is the only one keeping this world together. I can't let him die. Wait. What? 
love that ask you. But, but why? Consider yourself lucky for now, Eggman. But I got my eye on you. <laughs> Finally, this is my chance to end Frieza once and for all. Not fight doing this alone, Vegeta. To stay out of this Kakarot, can't I have my moment to myself? Nope, you know that I is half Frieza and half Tip Gollum, right? You guys stay out of this. Frieza Gollum is mine. <laughs> and then there was you. <laughs> well, Vegeta, what are you going to say? That you're going to destroy us? <laughs> you know it's always the same fight, Vegeta. I always beat you in the end. But this is different. I win by default because I am the most powerful being here. Rather not Eggman wishes to use all of his power against me. No matters. You shall die here and now, and I won't have to worry about you once I'm the God Emperor. <laughs> I completely forgot about you, lol bet. Perhaps you want to challenge me for the role of the God Emperor? I'll tell you this, lol FedEx. You will not win this fight. It doesn't matter. Destroying you will be the closest I will get to ever destroying Lop and Ninjago. Oh, I don't want to fight you, but the people behind me do want to. Kamehameha! Hakai! Da! <laughs> uh, sorry, Goku. <sighs> Great. Freeze Arm just pulled a Zamasu on me. Goku, I, I think it's about time we do that little new transformation. Right, the Seraphim. How exactly did you unlock it again? I don't remember. Just... But since you're a fast learner, you sh it shouldn't be that difficult for you to know. <laughs> Two annoyances with one stone. How delightful. What the? What is Frizzon think he's doing? He he's powering up a death ball? That's surely going to wipe out the entire realm, just, like, just instantly. Goodbye, little cowards. Come on, there has to be a way we can unlock it again. In order to gain access to the Seraphim, not only must you become one with the universe, you become lost in it. Imagine you're in the... A voidless universe with nowhere to go. You must lose what really makes you human. <laughs> huh? Almost feels like Eggman's energy. <sighs> Why you two little?
<sighs> Come on, Void. You have to let me solve your power. Let me use my full power against these people. Hmm. Huh? What? Who are you talking to, Eggman? <sighs> Void. It's obvious that Lol Bags is on to us. I need you to lend me my full power. No restrictions. No. Huh? Why can't I hear inside his mind? What are you planning, Eggman? Eggman? Eggman! <laughs> I cannot believe it. Is this how it was always meant to be? Just we fight, I lose badly. Both of you, please tell me, is this how it was always meant to be? Just face it, Freeze Allum, you have lost. Now, it's best that we head to Eggman's castle before Eggman recovers, and you stay right here. Uh, I, I, I just really wanted to do this for a very long time. <laughs> Seems that Team Fazbears are much more formidable than I take them credit for. Void, give me some more of your power. I will restore peace and order to Battle World, and get rid of these fools once and for all. Huh? Guys, I sense something bad's gonna happen. Something bad? Like what? Oh, I think somewhere in that direction. Guys, Eggman's key is rising rapidly, and it, it just disappeared. Yeah, what even is this form anyways? It almost feels similar to Dennis. So this is Eggman's supreme high form. Whoa, whoa. I have to thank you for this new little form, boy. I feel more powerful than I already am. <laughs> and much more powerful than all of you. Truck. <laughs> uh, uh, why could I have dodged that? Uh, huh? Truck! <laughs> This power. I've never seen such strength in my life before. You know, Eggman, old pal, I have to honor you for let for taking care of those idiots my, for me. It really shows that you do care about your old friend. How about we shake hands and, and form an alliance? I'll accept your deal on making me one of your barons in this new battle world if to exterminate Team Fazbear's and I promise that I will not betray you at all. Shake on it. Ah, my hand! <laughs> what? What are you doing? Ah. <laughs> uh, um, Fraser, we aren't fused anymore. What? Seems that you two are still the incompetent fools that I ever know of you. <laughs> 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 
Detective Gollum, you idiot! I told you we should have killed him when he, when he was down. I'm sorry, Lord Frieza, but I missed the part where that was my problem. This power of mine. So this is the power of Taboo. <laughs> with this power, I can destroy an entire universe with just a single blast. Duh. Huh? Once I destroy all of you, I will rebuild Battle World. Starting a new slate. And in this new battle world, you all won't exist. No pocket dimensions, no special tricks. You will all die here and right now. <sighs> tip Gollum, Tip Gollum, my old acquaintance. Remember me? It's it's your old pal Tip Gollum. And besides, I would like to thank you for bring, giving me the opportunity to show you a gift of mine. You see, I was gonna save this little transformation for when we fight one on one, but seeing as I might now have to use this new form of mine, I'm gonna have to go all out against you. Wait, a, a, a new wait, Tip Gollum has a new transformation? I guess he might have. What? New transformation? Hasn't he caused us enough trouble already with Free Zolum? Now, I present to you my new transformation. I call this transformation Perfect Tip Gollix. Whoa! Whoa, just like. Transform just like that? No, no aura, nothing. Ugh. Whatever that new transformation of his is, it surely blasts us back, but there's no aura with it. <laughs> yeah, Tip Gollum, and you gotta thank me for being, for helping you unlock that transformation through our training. Actually, Lord Frieza, I'm going to defeat Tip Gollum on my own. I don't need your help now. What do you mean you don't need my help? <laughs> you son of a bitch! <sighs> I'm going to fight you alone, at Dr. Eggman. I don't need anyone to help me. Just you and me. <laughs> You know, Tip Gollum, I once appreciated you. I thought of you as my intellectual equal. But now, you are the same as the rest of these mortals. Just puny, weak, and leagues below the gods. Holy shit! That, that new form of Eggman. His power is... It's insane! Just the opponent I need. Hey, Vegeta, wait! You're finished! Shit! What the hell was that for Kakarot? I could have had him! I was only saving your life, Vegeta. You couldn't just have gone out there and just attacked him right then. Well, that's part of the plan. We're supposed to hold him off as long as possible. Vegeta, you're so cocky and whatnot. You hold off this fight, Vegeta. The three of us are going to fight him. Hey! 
Don't think you guys can get all the fun without me. <laughs> Fine, you three. Two angels and a devil. Come right at me as you wish. You just make my job a lot easier. Huh? Hmm. What's going on? Perhaps a malfunction in this power. I haven't had any experience in this form. But... Huh? What, what's going on? What's happening to my body? What's going on this... That's right, keep him steady, the guy. Yeah, let's keep going, guys. We have him. Yeah, that's right, you guys. Get him. Get him. <laughs> looks like it. Looks like a little distraction is working quite well. Well, I can't. How does it feel to have your little scheme fall flat on its face? Please explain yourself. What's happening right to me right now? Boy, boy. Hmm. So this is where Doctor Eggman keeps void. Huh? Something's going on at the entrance. Wait. I can sense Lulpit's energy. So that means my his powers have returned. And so have uh, mine. <laughs> Great now, Eggman killed Tip Gollum. You know what? I don't need Tip Gollum. I didn't need him in the first place. I can overthrow God Emperor Eggman by myself. I just gotta continue training and then Hopefully, a hundred, two hundred, a thousand years later, I'll surpass God Emperor Eggman, take his power, and become the almighty supreme god of this battle world. And there'll be no angels, no Zeno, to even stop me now. <laughs> oh, what the? Vegeta? What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be in the battle with everyone else fighting against Eggman? Running from a fight, I see, Frieza. You see, Frieza, I'm not the same Vegeta that you fought all those years ago. I have changed quite a lot. Um, uh, please, Vegeta. If you let me go, I promise I'll change. If you just give me a chance like Lolpit had, maybe we could become good friends. <laughs> Fine. I suppose I shall like you on your way, if you promise that you won't do anything evil anymore. I promise, I no more conquering worlds, no more enslaving races. I, I plan to become a changed man soon. <laughs> huh? Ah! Dude, what are you doing? Let go! <laughs> you think exactly, you thought I didn't know exactly what you were doing, Frieza. Well, what are you talking about? You think you can get away that easily? You seriously think I'm that stupid, Frieza? You're going to just run away and continue doing exactly what you've been doing for ages. Listen, Frieza, you're dealing with an all-new, all-different Vegeta. And I will not be fooled that easily by you. <laughs> Still, you don't know what you're getting yourself into, Vegeta. Oh, me? I know exactly what I'm doing. Uh, please, Vegeta, if you give me a chance to get stronger and overthrow the God Emperor, then then I'll uh, then I'll bring you back and your family, and and I'll make even make you a baron. I'll give you a domain where the Saiyans thrive and you can become king of the Saiyans. 
No more second chances, Frieza. You will die here and now. It's always the same old story with you, Frieza. It's always the same old damn story. Just like on Namek. Just like on Earth. You, you may be an evil dictator, Frieza. But you're neither a fool either. You were given far too many chances by Kakarot to change. But I am not Kakarot. Please, Vegeta. Spare me. Just have mercy for one. And just like that, you will do almost anything just to save your own hide, Frieza. But there is no one here to help you. Your little bestie is gone. Nothing as you say will going to prevent me from ending your life. And Kakarot isn't going to be here to persuade me otherwise. Now then, Fraser. Goodbye and good riddance. Hakai! <laughs> no! Father, my entire race, you will rest peacefully knowing that the tyrant that destroyed all of you, the one that enslaved our race and snuffed you all out, is forever gone. What's going on? Have you restricted my power again? Alright guys, we got Eggman back to, co to a corner. Now, I say now is our chance to strike. <laughs> I'm sorry Eggman. If you use up that all of your power to destroy some mortals, if I allow you to use your full power again, you risk destroying all of Battle World. I don't care if I destroy Battle World. If it means taking out Team Fazbear's, then yes. Think about Void. These people have destroyed Battle World. They are the reason that's for its destruction. So if you please give me access to my full power, then I can win. Fine then, Eggman. If you wish. <laughs> huh? Now, I'm pissed. And now Void is not going to restrict my power anymore. What the? His power just rise dramatically. Not my problem. Wow, what a dick. Now where was I? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Ka me ha me. What's what the what is Eggman doing? It looks like he's going to he's going to destroy Battle World with my own attack. Wait a minute. I know exactly what he's trying to do. Lobat, get out of there! Huh? What the shit was that? Yeah. Ninja. Whoa. Uh, uh.
You alright there, little bit? You look like you've just seen a ghost. Yeah, like, are you alright? Like, we... Like, you haven't been, like, saying anything for quite a while. I mean, I, I'm fine, Miss Five Volta. I, I'm definitely fine. Well, good. Also, I'm, I'm very happy that you finally thought of your decision to finally retire from being a, the leader of Team Fazbear's. Yeah, I, yeah, I guess. I just feel like I should be doing something else. Like, a little bit. You don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. You're retired. You gotta be a grandfather. Also, I should probably go and check on the food and make sure it's cooked now. Oh, I can help you, Miss Five Volt. No, sweetie, I, I can handle it. Well, don't worry, I, I can help you if you need any help, that's all. Yeah, I honestly advise that you should have her help you. Like, she is, she does know a lot. Well, if you insist, dear. All right. This doesn't feel right, Kathy. What do you mean this doesn't feel right? Isn't this everything you want? It is everything I want. My friends, family, but I feel like I, sh I don't belong here. No one even here is even real. Then what do you want? Kathy, I want to go back out there. But a little bit. Why don't you want to be here? Like, this place is safe. It's everything we've ever wanted. Is that what you want? Look, I want to bring everyone back, especially you. But I have a mission. My mission is to get to Void and remove Eggman's power from him. Eggman has p pushed his limit. And my friends are in danger. Doubtful that they're going to last long against Eggman. Sonic? Mario? Trunks? Vegeta? Cass? Lobedex? Even my two bestest friends in the entire Omniverse. And what am I doing? Sitting here in a reality I created for myself. I cannot stay here while the friends I have left are getting brutalized out there. And who knows what the other me is going to do when he gets his hands on Void. But this, but don't you want to be with me a little bit? I do. I do want to be with you. I want you more, I want you back more than anyone else. But if I don't go out there, I won't be able to bring you back. Because if I stay here, I can't bring you back. Lolbit, are you sure that's what you want? Kathy, I am positive. I may have not been able to save you from a Dr. Eggman, but I can bring you back. Once I do, We'll be together again. If that's what you want, little bit, I can let you go. Duh! Uh, duh. Uh, 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 uh. You know what, Kathy? I changed my mind. I think I should go back in my mind. Uh, well, little bit. There's no turning back now. There's no room for trial. No room for errors. I will bring everyone back. I promise. My daughter, it's... it's really you. And... you've grown a lot. Yeah, well, you always stay the same. Ow! What the hell was that for? That's what you get for leaving me to die, you bastard. You know what, after all this time, I think I actually deserve that. Tasuki? What are you doing, sis? Get out of here! Let me deal with him. He's one of the people responsible for killing Kathy. Tsuki, what do you think you're doing? Like, this is our father! What the hell are you talking about, Toyo? 
Eggman's our dad. I know, but I know he's that that little bit may be a huge jerk to us, but he's still our dad. Says, what's gone in with to you? Says, I've known you since the day we were born. You're not like this. What's gone into you? Oh, I will tell you exactly what's gone into me. I've seen the truth. This reality is not our own. Eggman is not God, nor is he our father. Lil bro, do you believe me? I refuse to believe you. Here, look into this orb. It'll show you everything and reveal you the truth. I don't want to hear your truth. I don't want to fight you, sis. But you need to snap out of this. <laughs> Crap, I'm going to do something. My my kids are fighting each other because of, of everything I've done. If only I'd been there for them. I'm going to right my wrong. I'm going to save the Tsuki and Toya. <laughs> Stop. Just look into the orb. You'll see everything. You are my son, Tsuki. Whatever happened, I'll understand you. Dad? It's you. Sis, I am so sorry for not believing you. Please, I really had my heart ripped out of me. What's not to believe? I'll bet there's something I've been meaning to ask you for quite a while. See, I'm gonna be a dad. Okay. Wait, you're you're not mad or anything? You're not mad that I got you pregnant? Why would I be mad? Am I a little disappointed that you're going to be a parent a little earlier than you than I thought you would might be then? Yes, I am quite disappointed, but still. But you said that if if I if you told if I told you that I got a girl pregnant, then you would kick me out of the house. Look, I was just joking with you, Tsuki. I didn't actually think you would actually take that whole thing seriously. Of course, anything that all this says isn't really serious. Uh, what you look at, Toyo? That. Wow, so that's how strong Dr. Eggman has gotten. His power, I, I can't even sense it. Well, I need to stick around and find out exactly how this fight ends. Alright, I'll go and take you guys to the source of Eggman's power so that we can, we can stop him. Right. <sighs> this guy... Eggman is now unstoppable! Yeah, no crap, Vegeta. Yeah, how exactly are you going to stand a chance against him? He's literally God at this point. Yeah, I don't know what's taking a bit so long to deactivate this guy's power. It'll take us some sort of miracle to bomb this fucker. Bomb, bomb, bomb. I got an idea, guys. Well, we make ourselves a miracle? No, how about I take the energy from the citizens of Battle World and form that into a spirit bomb and launch it at Eggman? Yeah, and how is this supposed to destroy Eggman, you clown? Listen, our job isn't to destroy Eggman. It's to buy a little bit the time he needs to get Eggman's powers. You always gotta steal my thunder, do you, Kakarot? Now, Kakarot, you go and prepare the spirit bomb. I'll face on Baldy McNose hair here. And I don't care if I end up dying distracting him. As long as you'll bring me and my family and everyone else back, then yes. Right. You guys stay behind. This was me and Eggman's fight in the beginning. Lend Kakarot as much energy as you wish. I'll buy you all time. So your little friends have left you, Vegeta. I'm fine to bring back my family. You won't take this away from me. You know how much I sacrificed for this world. Then you bozos appeared and messed everything up. You ruined my 
world. This was not your world to begin with, Ivo. And this never was your world. <laughs> so you've chosen death, I see. Fine then. I'll make sure your your blood rains upon this world. Alright, Cosmo, I need you to go and, and dig yourself into the earth and communicate with everyone in Battle World. Tell them to lend their energy to Goku. But how can we be able to convince them? This will probably show them all. Now, use this. The Orb of Water. Hmm, right. All right. Here goes nothing. Here, let me let me end lend you some of my energy, Goku. You're gonna need this, pal. All right, Cosmo, you ready to communicate with everyone on Earth on Battle World? Yes. People of Battle World. What's who said that? Your ruler isn't the malevolent god they think he is. He's a fraud, a villain, who had brainwashed all of you into believing that he's a malevolent god. But all of us who are rebelling against the god emperor need your energy to be able to defeat him. As by standing together, we can be able to best the god emperor and rebel against him and overthrow him. We can help bring back your old lives and your lost friends and families, and those who may not listen but still despise the God Emperor this, uh, because of the inability of him trying to fix things. You're right for your hatred against the God Emperor. Now, lend us your energy so that way we can defeat him, because together we are strong. Spear bomb, it's getting bigger! Cosmo, you th your plan is working! <laughs> now then, Vegeta, you and the rest of your friends have been thorns on my side for a month! Have any last words? Yes. Look up! Huh? What the? <sighs> the spirit bomb! How? You're using the energy from my citizens to fuel your spirit bomb? I'm going to wipe out every single one of you miserable mortals in Battle World. Wipe you all out and leave behind nothing. And start everything anew. Clear the slate. Like that's ever going to happen. Now! Do it now, Kakarot! Now launch it! No, guys, we need to get out of here. Yeah, don't go tell me twice. Like, who do these people think they are? Don't they know who I am? In this world, I am God, and they think they can take the energy from my inhabitants of my world and use it all against me? That is honestly laughable. Come on, any moment now, huh? Aww. 
What do you think of this? Me using your own spirit bomb against you. <laughs> what the? This, this can't be possible. <laughs> now, prepare to die, fool. What the? Eggman's using the spirit bomb against Goku? What the? This can't be possible. It is possible. Eggman has the powers of both Taboo, Void, and Infinity. He's just too powerful for us. We just have to wait for Lulba to take away his power. Oh, to hell with this! Low backs, watch where you're throwing your punches. You could have really hit me. Damn it! I didn't know he was this strong. The God Emperor has become too mad, too powerful for us to even beat on our own. Even with the entire realm backing us, we still can't beat him. Guess this is it, guys. I'll plan to stop Eggman and bring back everyone, bring back the multiverse. It's over. We failed everyone. Don't you say that. Huh? We have not failed. We can still win this. We can still be able to beat Eggman. But how? He's too powerful. He has the powers of Taboo and Finn. I know he may be powerful. I know he may be too strong for us. But this doesn't mean we give up without a fight. Even if our efforts to stop him are in vain. Because I still have faith that Lulbit's plan is gonna work. But it's been like, like minutes. And we still haven't heard back from him, Kakarot. Why do you still have faith in that green idiot? Guys, listen. If, if we do end up falling to Eggman, we have to do this together. All of our loved ones are counting on us. Remember exactly what we're fighting for. Goku's right, guys. We fought through barons, their armies, dangerous monsters, just to face the final boss himself, and just for us to just give up when he's too strong. I've been with you guys for months. I understand exactly what you're fighting for. You're fighting to restore your world, your friends, family, everyone you have ever known. Even if we all do end up dying, and all of our efforts were to be in vain, that we better give him one hell of a beating before we go. Right, and this means Goku needs our help. Come on, guys. Good luck, my friends. See you all on the flip side. Need a hand, old friend? You guys, you've, you've arrived. Listen, Goku, we, we've entered this world battered and defeated. We may have not been able to save everyone then. We can still save everyone now. Together. Till the end of the line, Kakarot. Like I would ever miss a chance to bash Eggman's head in. Hmm, seems that like you all got plenty of fight left in you guys. Alright, everyone, let's give Eggman all that we got. <laughs> It seems that you Team Phasmas are just as desperate as I originally thought of you. Wiping you all off at the face of existence will be all the more satisfying. Oh, you're here. Tell me what exactly you seek. Come on, guys! We can do this! We can push him! Um, guys, I can't really stay up here much longer! Tails! Don't worry about him. He's virtually unkillable at this point. Now, we gotta focus on Eggman. 
Guys, the spirit bomb doesn't seem to be budging. Come on, guys, we need to keep pushing. The, um, guys, I don't think I could be able to hold this. Uh, Sonic! Cast! Guys, the aura of, of the spirit bomb struggle, it's, it's, it's blasting some of us away. Uh, trunks! Come on, guys, we have to keep pushing. Vegeta, it's very obvious that you can't be able to stay here and, ref and be able to be able to handle the struggle. You'll be blasted back too. Come on, Vegeta, there has to be something in you that's going to snap. I'm trying. We know that we can't lose here. If we lose, everything we fought for will all be for nothing. I'm just trying to withstand the pressure, but this form, I probably can't. Then you have to snap. There must be a form beyond that old Master Ultra Ego form. Lloyd, I'm sorry. Vegeta, no! Now this just makes my job a lot easier. And I didn't even have to do a thing. And I didn't even have to do a thing. All I had to do was just wait till that sweet, sweet energy you over rely on runs out, and then my that makes my job a lot easier to destroy you all. This didn't have to end like this. I could have just simply given you a quick and painless death. You guys didn't have to suffer the way you are now, but no. You had to be so greedy and selfish to take my power for yourself. Now, farewell, Team Fazbear's, and good riddance. No! No! This can't be happening! Uncle, Mom, Father, Kai, Jay, Cole, Zane, and Nia. I'm sorry. I... I tried. I... I... I'm sorry for not bringing you guys back. <sighs> Chi Chi, my sons. I'm sorry I couldn't save you. I wish I could see you all again. <sighs> well, Octa, I guess I'll see you on the flip side. Also, none of us here are to blame for any of this. Not you, Lloyd. Not you, Goku. Not everyone else. Not even me. We've all gave our best in this fight. And we gave uh, it our all. What? Lord Bex, what are you talking about? We all gave it our all, no matter how many times the odds are against us. I guess this is goodbye, my friends. What the? G goodbye? What are you talking about, Lord Bex? Wait, don't tell us! <laughs> Lord Bex, what's she doing? <laughs> what the? I started this whole mess in the first place. Now I'm going to end it. Turn! What the? What are you doing? Let go of me! Look at you, Eggman. You had one simple job, yet you were greedy. In the end, your hunger for power and keeping control of that power was will ultimately be your undoing. Are you seriously going to kill yourself just to wipe me out? Very typical of a demon like you. I am no demon. Just a mortal. LOL BAT! <laughs> Alright, listen up, Void. I want you to give me the powers of God so I can, can rebuild the world into my own image. No. Okay, just please give me that power. No. Are you kidding me? Maybe I should have portrayed Lobbit much later than this. Um, Lobbit, is that that other you that you've been talking about? Uh, yes, Tazuki, it is. Wait a minute, do I hear talking? What? Lobbit? Why exactly did you survive that fall? In the words of Vin Diesel, I got family. D 
Doctor. You know what? With these powers I get that Tip Gom gave me, I am going to demolish you. T huh? Wait, where did my powers go? What the? Uh, come on. Powers? Powers? What's going on? What's the matter? All out of juice? Now it's my turn. <laughs> huh? What the? Y you have your powers back? Th that's impossible. Th how exactly did you get your powers back? Because I got my family back. And now, as for you... <laughs> Alright then. Alright, Mr. Void, I got an offering for you. Uh huh? Alright then. What the? What's going on? Dark curse you, little bit! This can't be the end. I will return! Mm -hmm. Tastes like chicken. Well, little bit, did you just kill yourself? Well, uh, yes, I technically did. Well, that doesn't matter right now. At least I got my babies back. Baby back? Baby back, 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 chilies! Baby back ribs! Barbecue sauce! Alright, I I hope that really worked. Come on, Chio sis, let's go and check it out. Don't worry, we'll be right back. We want to see if it actually worked. Alright, be careful out there, you guys. Did the spirit bomb work? I, I don't know how you guys were able to do it, but I think we did it. I think we won. Finally! It's about time we put that that baldy McNose hair down into the ground. Did we win? Did we win, guys? Yeah, we won, but... Lol Bedex. She sacrificed herself to keep Eggman still so the spirit bomb could be able to detonate. I fear she's... gone too. Perhaps Lol Bedex wasn't that bad as I originally thought she was. Now all we have to do is just wait until Lol Bit can be able to Ta! 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 It seems that you Team Fazbears are much more of a pest than I originally thought of you. But that doesn't make sense. Like, your energy, like, we sent your energy, it was gone. Like, whenever the spirit bomb detonated. <laughs> I am God. Do you seriously think that a puny little spirit bomb would destroy me? <laughs> you never stood a chance. So Lol Bedex sacrificed. She died for nothing? You took my family and you killed my son! What? What's going on? Why can't I transform? I can't transform either. That's right. Fighting Eggman completely drained all of our key. There's no way we could be able to fight him now. <laughs> You are all doomed. What? He spawned multiple copies of himself? He's pulling a Zamasu on us. Come on, guys. We can't just give up now. We still have, probably have some, a little bit of fight left in us. And I say we... You have been quite annoyed to me for far too long, Hedgehog. And now this is finally my chance to erase you once and for all. Clones, take care of the rest of Team Fazbear. 
Brace yourself, guys. Soon you all will be good as history. Now, good riddance, Hedgehog. Hakai! Huh? Huh? Hakai! What's going on? Why are you still here? Huh? 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 What? My clones! What's going on? What's happening? Uh, my powers! What's going on? Why can't I use them? <laughs> What's the matter, Doctor? We're on out of juice. This doesn't make any sense. Even if Void was restricting my powers, I still had some. I still had some energy in me. I I feel none. What? Void? Don't tell me. What did you guys do? Huh. Well, if it's true that you don't have your powers anymore, I guess Slobit actually did it. The distraction actually worked. Lolbit, distraction? Where is Lolbit? Where do you think he is, old pal? No, Th these, these imbecile. They've been distracting me this whole entire time. Yo. Wait, wait, is, who is he talking to? Like, is he talking to me or is he talking to you? So you thought that you could just go into my castle, look for the source of my power, and they thought that you could just do that while I'm not looking? Well, you're wrong. Look, I want to bring everything back before the crisis, before Taboo. I want to bring back my world. Look behind you a little bit. I brought back your family. I brought back the world that you are currently standing on as my own. No. You did bring back the world that we once knew. You brought back a world that you wanted. Ooh, this is going to get interesting. You built up your own little playground where you can play as God, brainwashed, brought back my friends and family and brainwashed them, and, get, and made your little friends barons of different domains. I was the only one that was keeping order and peace in this world, and you had to ruin it. You only brought this upon yourself when you killed the woman that I cared deeply about. Maybe you should have never woken up. I tell myself that every day. Now you shall fall at my hand. Huh? What's going on? Why can't I use my powers? Void! Now you and Lopit are on equal footing. You shall decide exactly how you can handle your power. Face it, Eggman. You cannot win this. Yes, I will. Huh? You were saying? Gotcha. Void. What's happening to me? What did you do? I did what was necessary, Doctor. I restricted your powers yet again. Hopefully you will learn now. I do not. If only you saw power through my eyes, Lolbit. You would probably agree with me. The moment you gained that power, you thought that you can do anything. And so you made yourself a god. <laughs> Come on, little bit, be his ass. Yeah, bat his fat ass in. You know, if maybe I was given that power of yours, I would restore everything. Like, don't you just miss being beaten by Sonic? I hate being beaten! I must have to ask you this, Eggman. Are you happy with that power of yours? 
If you could be your enemies with just the snap of your fingers so easily, then wouldn't that make every fight worthless? Sonic, the rest of Team Fazbear's, they all gave you a challenge. And since you can easily beat Sonic, beat me, beat Team Fazbear's with your godly powers, I know deep down inside you, you're not happy with that power. I've sacrificed far too much for these powers. Then why don't you just give them to me? Eggman, you can do the right thing and give me your powers. I can bring everyone back. I can bring back Sage. I can bring back the thrill of your battles with Sonic. If you please just lend your power to me. I accept. Well, that was easy. That was all you had to say, Eggman. Now, bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> Duh! This power. If. So, this is the power that corrupted you? Wow. I, no wonder you became a god. I'd be careful of that power. Your powers originally came from Taboo, and you basically have Taboo's power of creation and destruction. Easily corruptible power, isn't it? But I, however, will not be a god. Promise you'll bring back everything. Make it so that Taboo never happened. I will. I'll also remove all the pow the transformations that everybody gained in this, like, battle world. Because I don't want them all to be too OP. Now, instead of using my power to bring back everything, I'm going to separate my powers throughout the entire multiverse and bring the entire multiverse back. Now, let's -a go! It's about damn time. I'll see you soon, Bulma. Huh? Guys, we're, we're back. Yeah, I did not know exactly what I just felt there for a moment, but I guess we're finally back, guys. That means we won. Like, Lolpa got Eggman's power and he brought us all back. Say what? Yeah, it's true, Freddy. I was there too. <laughs> I guess in the end they were able to, to be Eggman and restore everyone on their own. Uh, uh, what just happened? It's a little bit. He, he brought us all back. So, so that means we won. We, we actually won. Why, well, yes, we did actually win. Sometimes an ending doesn't mean an ending. An ending of a world often leads to new possibilities and often new beginnings. I am Whiskers, one of Infinity's children and the creator of Earth. In the end, Eggman and Lolbit came to a mutual agreement. Lolbit would have the powers of Dr. Eggman as if it meant restoring the world. And Lolbit would separate that power of Taboo into making new worlds and make it so Taboo's rampage never happened, even if it meant sacrificing many people's transformations, if it meant doing so. And now, with Lolbit restoring the multiverse by separating the powers of Taboo among it, the multiverse and its vast cosmos has been restored, as chaos leads to darkness, and darkness leads to light. Well, good morning, true believers. This is T.T. Thompson, reporting live for the Daily Bugle. 
It's been a couple of days since the fiasco at Borg Tower, and Lob and the Jago's coalists continue to praise him as some sort of hero. If he really were a hero, then he would publicly announce that he'd retire, and we won't have to deal with his shenanigans anymore. Well, good morning there, folks. Yes. Yes. I finally won for one. You know, I got to add it to you there, sis. Good game. Right, like, good game to you too, little bro. It's not like you were even trying or anything. Spoyo! Spoyo! Bye! And there, all reality should probably be restored by now. Was that all of them? Yep, that was your guys' reality, and I restored every single Earth. Earth 7, 5, 4, 13, 8, 10, the world of the avatars, both Infinity, Whiskers, and the Millennium Star have also been restored. Yeah, to think that we've been through so much together, like, this little journey of ours has been insane. But still, I still gotta admit, I'm still going to miss those transformations that we learned while in Battle World. Same. I'm definitely going to miss that Seraphim form that we had. Well, would you rather be big and powerful, or would you rather have all your friends back? And those that you cared about? Well, good point, Dareth, but what are you even doing here? Uh, cameo. Wee 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 wee. Hey, I recognize that guy from the bar earlier. Don't you remember him, Vegeta? No, I've never seen him in my life. Yeah, I'm sorry you guys had to sacrifice your little transformations, like... I want to make sure everything is back to normal. That meant you guys having to lose those transformations. But you can probably still learn them again, like, sometime down the road. Like there's always next saga. But anyways, now that everything is back to normal. It's now as though Taboo's rampage never even happened in the first place. Well, that's quite pleasant to know, Lil Bit. And anyways, there, I hope that you've learned a lesson out of this. Yes, yes, I know. If you ever want to break the you break reality again, then let me know first before you do it. No, 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 no. That's not exactly what I meant. Right. If I break reality, then I don't tell you. No, it's simple, Lobbit. Don't break reality. I right, find jeez, Cronoa, you don't have to be on my ass so much. So both me and Vegeta's home is repaired too, right? So you mean all realities, like me and Vegeta's reality. Yeah, Goku and Vegeta, your reality is restored and your families are alive and well now. Again, it's like taboo never happened, okay? And I've heard that you hope that you've learned a lesson out of this, Dr. Eggman. Oh, fine, fine. I've, I've learned my lesson. And I promise that I won't do it ever again. Wink. Wait, why did you just wink like that? Oh, I- oh, nothing. Wink. Hmm. Doctor, you sound quite suspicious, don't you think? What? No, Shadow, I'm not suspicious. Wink. <laughs> it's not like I have any meaning to uh, business to be here anyways. Shadow. Shadow the Hedgehog. Yes, Gun Commander. I need you and Deep Dark on mission. Alright, Gun Commander. I'm on my way. Now, time to go find Team Dark so we can go on this mission. <laughs> Well, good luck on that, Shadow. Anyways, Tails, let's head back to, the, to your workshop. I'm really craving some chili dogs. It's Man, it sure has felt like months since I've had my last chili dog. Yeah, it sure must be. <laughs> Alright, you two head back to your own reality. And don't cause any more trouble. Don't worry there, Lil Bet X. Uh, or Lil Bet, if that's who I'm speaking to. I am a changed woman. I have been reborn. I do not do such childish things anymore. How oh, you can keep on telling yourself that, Azuna. Right, Chino sis. Anyways, let's head up, head back home, Kakarot. But shouldn't we continue training on Beerus' planet? I said we're going home first, and then Beerus' planet. I need to go check in on my family and see how they're- if- if Lolbit actually was right. Hey, please take me with you two monkeys! You're not coming with us, Frieza. Actually, please take him with you guys. Like, I cannot stand him anymore. But I thought we were buddies. You seriously just left me to die by the hands of Dr. Eggman. Like, why exactly do you think I wouldn't hate you? Well, I died too to the hands of that, of Vegeta over there. 
Well, it sounds like you have a problem. Anyways, your Cabal membership has been revoked. Have a good day. <laughs> Fine, I didn't want to be part of your stupid boy band anyways. Lawbacks, take me back to my, to Universe 7. Jesus Christ, I'll take you back to your army. Jeez, you don't have to be such an ass about it. <sighs> Finally, I can be away from your stupid little faces. I just go, go back to my army and just have a nice vacation on one of my many planets. <sighs> I'm done with all your bullshit. <sighs> Thank God. Frieza. Thank goodness. Whis, Beerus, take us back to, to Earth. Well, we're already on Earth. Earth of Universe 7, dumbass! Alright. Alright, I was just messing with ya. Wait a minute, before you do that... You know what, I was actually wanting to extend my stay here. Especially for all the exquisite food that this planet, this version of Earth, can provide. No, we're going home! Right now! Anyways, little bit, I, I hope that we can meet again someday. Hopefully I can test how strong you've become then. Yeah, and hopefully next time I can be able to beat you. Heh, <laughs> you can keep on telling yourself that, Lolbit. <laughs> you know, Lolbit, if you ever want to, you could probably join the, join the Time Patrol if you wish. I'm sorry, I've learned my lesson for trying to, to join any sort of multiversal agency. And besides, I got kids to, to like... To... Oh, sorry, I've learned my lesson from, like, from, like, having to join... No can do trunks. I've learned my lesson for the joining multiversal agencies. And besides, anyways, I've got a young man and young woman to raise. All right, just consider on our offer. Come on, trunks, let's head back to the time nest. I just don't know how Toki Toki would feel if we left him there for so long. If you guys have ever wanted a real boy band that you can join, you could probably join the Illuminati. We we're actually recruiting more members. Yeah, but we're happy to include you as one of our members. Well, what is King DDD doing? He just joined the Illuminati just just a couple hours ago. A couple hours ago? Damn him. Like, really? Has this really been? Has he really been a member for that long? Um, yes, actually. Well, damn. Uh, no thanks. But we'll probably consider on your offers. <laughs> Anyways, Crash and Crunch, let's head back home. Right. <laughs> Alright, pizza party? Sure, why not? Yeah, I can really go for some pizza. Well, technically I'm a mask, so I can't have pizza, but I'll still join it anyways. Well, I'm going to go and find Void a new home. Like, maybe he can he could go and crash with, with Whiskers if he wants to. I would love to live with your master, Whiskers. Come with us, Void. We shall take you to Whiskers. Oh, bye, Lolbit. I'll see you soon. Alright, Kathy, just be home in, in like, by noon. Come on, Luigi, let's head back home. Yeah, right. <laughs> bye, Mario, bye, Luigi. Wow, everybody is leaving so fast? Man, they, I don't think they even want to stay for the after party. After party? Yeah, like, we're going to have, like, a pizza party, but I guess the Illuminati is also going to do a pizza party, so what's really the point now of doing a pizza party? I want some pizza! Oh, Kirby, we know that you're not going to save any of us a slice of pizza. Well, I'm happy to stay, stay and, like, hang out with something, right, Cat? Huh? Boo! Ah! What the? Are you serious, Lolbit? How come she gets to keep her Master Ultra Instinct transformation, yet me and Kakarot and Lloyd don't get to keep our new transformations? I thought you went home already. Hey, I thought you went home. I did, but then I, th I figured that I just wanted to come back here to check uh, check to see if I ac didn't lose anything, alright? Alright, we take me home now. Well, that was weird. Well, Tazuki, are you going to tell Lolbit or not? Oh, yeah, I probably should. Hey, Lolbit, there's something I want to ask. Yep, Tazuki, I know. You're going to be a father. Wait, how did you... Look, you already told me this. You told me that Chu's pregnant and, and you're going to be a father. So, what's the- is it is going to be a boy or a girl? Oh, it's- it's going to be a girl. And I'm going to be the one who primarily raises it. Yeah, I feel like he can probably handle the kid once he- once he arrives and whatnot. Well, I'm happy to hear of you, son. 
Tasuki, I feel that you're going to be a great father. Like, you, like I have been a father to you, and I guess that you've learned the father skills from me over to you. And if you ever want to learn any father skills, like any advice on being a father, then you already have, like, Freddy and I living in the mansion. So, yeah, I guess you could probably, like, like have us help you with handle, handle, the, handle your kid once he arrives. She. Oh yeah, she. What exactly are you going to name her anyways? Well, I'm thinking about naming her after my mother. Were well, you going to name her after mom? <laughs> Why couldn't you just name her after dad? Because Susan is actually a girl's name, unlike dad's. Hmm, how about Susie? Like, it sounds like you and my name combined, Tasuki. Yeah, Susie. Susie Ninjago. I actually like the ring to it. But anyways, let's call Freddy, Kai, and the others, and have that party! Man, it's actually great to be back, isn't it, Lil Bet? Yeah, and especially that we're going to be married soon. Wait, you two are getting married? Well, congratulations! Yeah, oh my god, I'm so happy for you two! You know, Tsuke, how about you and pro you try and propose to Zack? You know, a gay married couple m counting out a, a lesbian married couple? Well, first of all, to, first of all, sis, me and Zach are both seventeen. Wouldn't like we can't even vote, let alone get married. And besides, I already have a love interest. Aw, that's sweet, Tasuki. Oh, you're such a buzzkill, Tasuki. Let's just go to this party already. Hey, wait for us. Hey, don't forget about us. We're coming to that after party too. Boyo. Alright, everyone else has left. Well, well, Orbot, Cubot, Sage, we are back in business. Let's head back to the lab and concoctuate our next evil scheme. Alright, boss. Alright, boss. That freeloader is quite special, isn't he, Z? You know, Dai, maybe you should consider Lop taking Lopet in as your apprentice. Well, in order to do so, I'll probably have to ask him first, and see if it's alright with him. One day later. The Lopet Mansion. Anyways, Frederick and, and Ribbon are going to stay at, at my cousin's place, so... Yeah, to think that we've had so many good memories in that mansion. I've never been emotionally attached to that place ever in my life. Yeah. It was our home. My home. You know, I, I can probably get you guys a penthouse if you want me to. Uh, no, no thanks, Chu. Like, we appreciate you giving us another home, but... But the Lobby Mansion in this this area, it's so special to me. We can rebuild it. We can rebuild our home. And this time, we're going to make it better. We're going to fix our home. Just as I fix my life. Don't worry, Lobbit. We all will fix it. We're all in this together. Right. And when we rebuild the Lop and Mansion, can you please add an elevator? God, the stairs always kill me! Hey, technically, don't you technically not live in the Lop and Mansion, but in Ninjago City? Hey, you can't have two homes, right? Alright. Let's start rebuilding. Hey, Fredbear. I know that's been a while since I've last visited you, and... Welp... All I just gotta say is, I think I finally understand it now. Everyone has the power to affect other people. Rather you're a hero, or you're a villain. Every single person, every living being has the ability to be affected by our choices. We can help bring people together, or we can choose to shut ourselves off from everyone else. But even with the loneliest people, it's best that they share time with those around them. But sometimes you can't always just focus on everyone else. Sometimes you gotta focus on you. Most of my life I 
feel like I've never made my own decisions. I was always afraid that if I did something wrong, then I would affect everybody in a negative way. And throughout those months, I, I figured that I had. But when you make a choice, you can't always think about what everyone else thinks. Sometimes you just gotta think about what you think. When you make a difficult choice, you either worry about the person that you're affecting, but... But the person who is most affected by a choice is the person that makes that choice. And you're thinking, looking down on me and thinking that that sounds a bit selfish, but... The most selfish I've done was not being there for my kids when they need me the most. So I think that it's about time that I stop running away from my responsibility and be the father that Toyo and Tsuki actually need. I'll see you again, Fredbear. So lol, but you done monologuing? Look, I was just talking to an old friend, okay? Yeah, I know, I know. So, since everything is back to normal, are you going to go back to leading Team Fazbear's? Actually, Toyo, I was actually doing some thinking, and I decided that maybe it's about time I decide to put away the suit and bow tie and and take off the shoes. Wait, hold up. You're retiring? Look, you see, I think that it's about time that I actually take take Five Volt's word for granted. I've always been running away from my responsibility and trying to live two different lives at the same time, but, but I think it's about time that I actually make the right call and actually be a father now for Toyo and Tsuki. And not to mention that you have a granddaughter coming. Well, yes, that too. But Lulbit, I got a question. Who's going to lead Team Fazbear's now that you're retiring? Well, like, unless you want to give that leader the title back to Freddy or something, then that's alright. Well, Lulbit, that's why I've, when I plan on retiring, I've, I've always thought about who my successor should be. Wait, successor? Wait, you have a successor? Wait. What do you even think? Who should even is the successor you speak of? That's the decision that you decide, leader. What? So, what I was saying. You see, let me get back to my story. You see, I was I was being co mind controlled by this egg with an eye infection. And I said to him, I am no one's slave. And so I punched him in the face. Hey, he didn't punch him in the face. Like, like I was there and I remember it clearly as it happened. 
Thank you, Crash. I'm glad that you actually agree with me, Brick Brother. Um, I'm actually quite confused on how you can understand, uh, that. Look, I've known him for all my life. I've basically just gotten used to all of his, his gibberish and whatnot. I can affirmatively confirm that she is actually quite right about getting used to it. Like, I have lived with him for, like, quite a while, and I've eventually gotten used to, like, all his gibberish and be, and I could be able to understand what, exactly what he is saying. <laughs> I don't understand how that's something that I have to get used to. Well, come on, everybody. We're a team. Like, remember, like, we're part of a team now? Hey, can you guys be quiet? Your leader is trying to meditate. All right, uh, sorry, sorry, little bit. So, who decided that she should be the leader of this team? Look, it's, uh, look, I know little bit. She is very good at being a leader. Thank you, Cosmo. Finally, someone who appreciates my leadership. Everybody, run! Ah! Um, uh, what's that all about? Guys, look! Yeah. <laughs> oh, guys, looks like today is our lucky day. Finally, something I can do instead of just sit here and tell a story. Oh, yeah, it's time to banana slam us some dragon. Most of little bit, you coming with us? You guys go up ahead and found me. I'll be right there. Alright, now time to do a bit of stretches. And... Gotta go fast. 